Hello everyone and welcome to YouTube Tuesday session 143 with me Jessica Brigden of Just Be Creative Cardiology. Hello, hello. Hope you're having a great week. We're having a beautiful sunny day and it feels like spring. So I thought I would come to you today with some cute spring bunny carrot cards. Yes, I'm going to be using the ever coveted bunny punch and I'm going to actually be pulling in um, an item from Celebration and that is the Thanks a Bunch stamp set. Now this is no longer available because it was a Celebration exclusive uh, during the months of January and February 2023 here. Hello Nessa, hi Margaret. Uh, but I do have a little special announcement for all of you, um, if you're in the US market here, um, I took a little bit of a risk and I knew I had a class in mind that I wanted to use the bunny punch and I found the cutest little bunny bags um, from 31 Gifts, if you guys are familiar with the tote company. And so I pre-ordered, or pre-ordered, I ordered some of the cute little bunny bags and I ordered some bunny punches and they are now no longer available. They are returning. Stampin' Up! will have them back in stock on May 15th, but right now they are currently unavailable. However, I have a few uh, to use as part of my class offering. So I have details in the video description, but please, um, if you are interested in this class, I'll tell you all about it. Um, please message me um, so that I can send you a link, a payment link for this class. I will have a tutorial option um, that is there in the comments as well. Uh, but make sure that you are subscribed also to my newsletter subscription. All right, I don't send them out very often, a couple times a month, um, but that way I can, again, let you know all of the details. I have a very limited number of these class kits um, so if you are interested, all right, make sure you act quick. All right, so I'm going to flip the camera and I'm going to tell you all about it because you're going to want to see it because it's super cute. And then we're going to make a couple of bonus cards here today. All right, so let me go ahead and flip the camera. Hope you are all doing well and having a great start to your week. All right, so you can see I have a whole pile of goodies here on my desk. Hi, Kathy and Sandy and Karen and my hubby David popping in for a bit. <laughs> hello, hello. All right, so the products we're going to use today, like I mentioned, the Bunny Punch and the Thanks a Bunch stamp set. Hi, Polly. Then, of course, I've got my envelopes here. We've got some dimensionals, the little butterfly, the brushed brass butterflies. <laughs> Those are awesome. I'm going to be including some of those in my class kit. Also, some of this amazing Snowfall Accent Puff Paint. This is also no longer available, but again, I was anticipating little fluffy bunny tails. All right, so this is a must-have for this class. I'm including it in the kit here, a little sponge dauber because... I'm just using the Bunny Punch and some Crumb Cake cardstock, a little Crumb Cake ink to make our bunnies. All right, and we've got some Dandy Designs, 12 sheets of Dandy Designs Designer Series paper. This was also a Celebration exclusive. I've cut it down to six by six sheets. So there's 12 sheets here in this pack. Aren't they super fun and colorful? Per perfect for spring. And then enough supplies for 12 cards. So all of the card stock here will be included. And check out the cutest little bunny bag. This is the small essential storage tote from 31. So it is about, what is this? It's 10 and a half inches tall and seven and a half inches wide. So it's a small tote, but it's perfect for putting your class supplies in here. So let me give you a brief little sneak peek of some of the cards I've designed here. And like I said, there's also a tutorial option as well. 
Is this not the cutest? And check out those little cotton tails on our bunnies. So we've got baby cards and thank you cards and just happy spring carrot cards. Super cute. Thinking of you. Love you a bunch. <laughs> Are these just the cutest? Even got a little winter rabbit in here. I was thinking of snow bunny. All right. And love you. Aww. So all of these are included in my class um, as well as the tutorial there. And with all of that, I actually had a few supplies left over. I made a kit for myself. And so I'm going to show you that today. I need to figure out where to put those in the meantime. So I ended up, I have this pattern, this little fun polka dot. So we've got some granny apple green some Coastal Cabana, some fresh freesia in there. And I had this left over, so I wanted to use this in my video today and thought we'd make a couple of additional cute bunny cards on top of the 12 that I've already just shown you. So one thing I did pull in is the Oh goodness, the name just, the scalloped contours. I'm like, the name just left me. <laughs> Did use my scalloped contours dies to make some fun stitched scalloped rectangle patterns here to use as a focal point for some of our um, cards. And then I'm also pulled in the one and three quarter and the two inch circle punches that are back in, so they're in stock, all right? Um, I have the old style, so Stampin' Up! sold a one and three quarter circle punch years and years and years ago. So this is the old whale tail style. Um, but the punches that I've returned will be the new style here, okay? So this is this is actually my old two inch punch, um, but the one and three quarter will look like this as well. All right, so I will be using, I pulled in some cardstock here. I pulled in to go with this. I've got the Coastal Cabana, some Granny Apple Green, and some Fresh Freesia. And um, thought we would use that here for our cards. So I was kind of thinking I would just go ahead and cut, since this is down to, um, it's actually a little bit smaller than six by six, because I used a little bit of that green stripe on one of the other cards. But I'm going to cut it down to four inches by five and a quarter here, so I can create a background for one of our projects today. Okay, four by five and a quarter. All right, so that gives me a panel. I've got a little strip here that I can use for the inside of my card to decorate that. And then I've got a leftover panel here. I'm gonna trim that down to five and a quarter as well. All right, and we'll use that on our second project. Okay, so to do this, let's go ahead. And I'm thinking, I'm kind of thinking, let's do fresh freesia for this one and kind of highlight the, the little purple polka dots in here. I'm hoping that since this is one of the retiring in colors, or it's in that group that was the 2021 to 2023, I would love, I love Fresh Freesia. I would be tickled if this happened to be one of the colors that maybe Stampin' Up! makes into part of the core collection. So lots of exciting things going on this week. Um, all of those color announcements, retiring product announcements, um, all of that will be taking place tomorrow afternoon. So I will actually be doing a, uh, make sure you sit, hit the subscribe button here on my channel because I will actually be doing a um, bonus video sometime tomorrow evening to go over everything that's retiring and share all of the color, goodness, and exciting announcements with you guys tomorrow. So, <laughs> hi Wendy, hello, hello. All right, so we have our Fresh Freesia card base. I'm keeping these cards super quick and simple and fun. This is five and a half by eight and a half. We will fold here at the four and a quarter mark. And let's just go ahead and put our polka dot panel 
right here on the front and it looks like I forgot my adhesive uh, on my work table. All right, I'm going to need to grab that real quick and then be right back. I do my crafting in two locations back here in the craft room, but I do the majority of my crafting actually out on um, my kitchen island because it's a little bit taller. And um, I actually, I like to stand when I do my crafting. Let me know, are you a sitter or a stander? <laughs> As a lot of people sit and craft, I like to stand and do my crafting. And so, that is what, <laughs> so I'm constantly moving back and forth between places here. All right, so let's go ahead. We'll use this scalloped contours panel here for our, our focal. And let's create, let's stick with our little cute carrot and bunny theme here. And, um, create a cute little card. So I'm going to use some crumb cake cardstock to get started for our bunny here. All right, so it comes to our, our bunny. I'm gonna just use a scrap of cardstock. All right, so this way you can make your bunnies any color and anything you want. So just cute little punch here for our bunny. And I like using a sponge dauber for that with a little bit of crumb cake ink. All right, it seems to work easy. It's just daub here on your ink pad and then gently brush that onto your bunny. Of course, you could use whatever color you wanted, but our little garden bunnies here are kind of a little brownish color. All right, so I got some of that brushed on. And then, of course, I'm gonna get them ready. We just need a couple of dimensionals for, put one on his little bunny butt by the head and then down his arm. All right, so little bunny is ready. We're gonna do our little cottontail last. Uh, because we do need the heat tool for that. So for this class, um, you will need a paper trimmer and a heat tool. If you want to do the little cottontails, you'll need the heat tool. And um, yeah, then just maybe your paper snips and that'll be about it. All right, let's go ahead. Let's do some fun colored carrots. These are going to be uh, some of those organic garden carrots here. So we'll use the the long carrot and then this little piece is actually designed to add um, accent to, to do a two-tone on your carrots there and then hi Janelle and then we've got some little leaves and some little carrot tops funniest story ever is um, <laughs> when when I was young um, my best friend came to visit and she was from the city. She was from a city girl. And um, we, of course, live out in the country. And she came to visit one summer. I think we were, I don't know, we're 12 or 13 young teenagers. And um, my mom asked her, we were helping with dinner. My mom asked her to go out and pick some carrots from the garden. It was summertime. And so my friend came in, she was so excited. She had a whole bundle of greenery in her hands. And um, her maybe mom asked her to pick parsley. And what, <laughs> but you guys see where I'm going with this? She had a whole bunch of greenery in her hands and it turns out she picked the tops off the carrots instead of the parsley. So, yeah, so <laughs> they do look a little bit similar. But it was kind of a funny story that it's become a, a little joke in our family that uh, be careful whether you're picking parsley or carrots because 
they look an awful lot alike. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you guys have any funny stories like that from, from your youth, if you guys do any gardening, but um, <laughs> it was, it was fun. So I'm going to go with some purple carrots, some fresh freesia carrots here. And I'm going to stamp these at first with the little carrots. And uh, let's do a little, we'll do a little trio right down the front. And I'm going to use that stitched line here on my die cut as, as my little um, guide, guide line there. Okay. And then we'll do a little, let's do a little trio of carrots because they're cute. All right, so we went with these organic purple carrots here. And then let's go in and we'll do, let's do, I want to do a little bit of a two-tone. So we're going to use some, I need another block here because I left those on the table too. All right, so actually we'll use, I'll show you guys how this works. When you've got your carrots and then this other little piece here. Okay, let that dry just a little bit. And then we're gonna come in, same color, do a tone on tone. Okay, and then I just put that right on top and it adds just a little subtle definition, a little extra texture here. Okay, it looks like, makes our carrots look a little more realistic. All right, you can see the difference there, right down the side. It's pretty cool. All right, so let's do some little leaves here in Coastal Cabana, and then we'll do our carrot tops in Garden Green. So we'll pull in all the colors. We'll just have some fun. Oops, make sure I get ink on all of that. Uh, let's see, we'll go off to the side a little bit with that. And then we'll pull in the granny apple green. Okay, I'm going to use, are these colors fun? This um, Dandy Designs Designer Series paper was pretty cool, but it was a mega stack. And um, it was a free with hundreds, so you may have missed the opportunity to get that, but um, I was able to get a stack and chop it up and make it make it work here for our, our projects. Let's just go ahead and put lots of greenery on there. Yeah, I think that works. All right, pulls in all of the colors. All right, so we can go ahead and let's just pop this down. I'll use a little stamp and seal on here. Isn't it cute? Super fun. We're just going to center that on top. And then we've got our little bunny. So I'm going to pop him on here too. All right. So maybe our little bunny. Where should we go? Let's see. Let's put him at the, again, use that little stitch line here. Let's do that. I'm going to put him over towards the left a little bit. This little bunny falling off the end there. Oh, Karen, thanks. Come back and watch the rest after work. <laughs> Oops, Ziggy. Oh, so that's what happened. Ziggy, come on. She's a stampin' kitty for sure. She's like, I want in on the fun. That's what happens. I ran out to open my adhesive. Come on, Ziggs, get down. And um, left the door open, so she snuck in. Naughty kitty. <laughs> She's like, Mom, but your your desk is right in front of the window. <laughs> right where she wants to be and see everything. All right, so I'm going to use a little scrap of some basic white here. I've got a scrap of paper, and I'm going to use this so we have a little place to stamp our sentiment. So this is from another project. All right. I'm sure you guys have scraps in your, your bin there somewhere. So let's just trim off those excess pieces. 
right down the edge. All right, detach that. Smooth out our edge here. Let's go about, uh, let's go about three inches. Okay. And we use this, and that way we can pull in our little sentiment. We can always go, there's no one quite like you because there might not be any, you know, one special like these pretty purple carrots that we've got going on. <laughs> How about we use that? <laughs> we'll do a little, uh, oh, where'd my paper towel go? I cleaned up deck here the other day and now I don't have any paper towels for my, my ink. All right, well, we'll go with fresh freesia for this as well. Let's stamp that right in the middle. Okay. And then we can always try to trim that a little bit if we want to um, kind of angle the ends. Let's do that. All right, so I've got our little sentiment banner. Do we need a little, let's see here. Yeah, let's trim this down a little bit so we can do a fun little accent with this. All right, we'll just trim off a skinny little piece right down, right down the edge. And that way we'll put a little adhesive back here and then kind of pop this down. All right, and then, yeah, right about there. And then we can put dimensionals on the back. Okay. All right, so, and this is the cutest. Here we go. There's no one quite like you. Let's see. Let me put that on after. All right, I'm gonna set that right here for now. And then we're gonna do our little bunny tail first so I can position this. So I have my heat tool plugged in. I'll plug this a little distance from my desk. So hopefully I can keep that in. Now the key to this is to shake it really well. You wanna Mix the content, it's kind of, it's like one of those little paint jars here, little bottles. So just shake it up really good. And then you don't, you don't need a lot. So we're gonna just squeeze a little bit onto this area of the tail and I'm gonna use the tip to kind of spread it around. Okay, so you can see I've got, oh, about that much, so it's, it's solid white. I can't see the paper through it. Okay. So that's, if you can see your paper and it's spread too thin, you definitely want to use a little bit more. All right. So, and I put it in the area of the tail and I, I kind of put it around a little bit um, because I wanted it to be kind of a natural shape. So I am going to turn my heat tool on. So that's going to, it's going to be a little loud, but, um, because it's going to take a little while for it to get warm, but then watch for this amazing transformation. It's so cool. All right, so I'm going to just let that heat up a little bit off to the side so that I don't put it in your ear the entire time. Oh, that scared Ziggy off for sure. <laughs> she did not like that. Okay, so it's getting warm. I'm going to pull it over here so I can see. All right, so you can see it kind of moving around a little bit so that'll spread it a little bit too check it out do you guys see it see it changing check it out keep watching it grows as it heats check check how cool is that all right so when it's when it's pretty much fluffed right up and done growing, then that's when you need to stop heating. You don't want to burn it. It does dry immediately and you can touch it 
and you can it's it's just like fun foam <laughs> it's the coolest thing um so it will squish a little bit you know when you put your card in an envelope but it's the coolest and it makes the perfect cottontails <laughs> So I just thought that was the neatest thing. Love making these little cottontails there for our bunnies. Hi, Terry. Hello, hello. And then we'll put our little sentiment on here. Well, let's see. Where do I want to put this? Maybe we'll just go right here across the middle. How about that? There's no one quite like you. Isn't that sweet? Super fun. So it's called Snowfall Accents Puff Paint. It was originally um, introduced with a holiday catalog to make fluffy snowmen accents. Um, but I prefer little bunny tails for spring. <laughs> so there we have it. There is our first project. All right. And so I have um, a little bit left here. Hi, Diana. How are you? Glad you found me online, which is why I didn't answer your text, because <laughs> I will answer that when I'm done with the video. And um, <laughs> so we'll do just another little fun project here. Let's see. Let's go ahead and do some Granny Apple Green with this one. So I'm going to take this piece of cardstock and cut it in half here on the long side. Five and a half. Okay. So we have five and a half by eight and a half. I'll just go ahead and fold it there at four and a quarter. All right, and we're keeping this super quick and simple. So we're just going to take our piece of designer series paper. I'm going to use the striped side, I think, on this one. So I'll put a little adhesive on here. And let's go about, yeah, that's about the halfway mark. Okay. And this time I'm going to do, let's see, what color do I want to do? Let's go ahead and use some, let's do some Calypso Coral on this. All right. So I'm going to grab some Calypso Coral and the two inch circle punch. All right, like I said, these are back. They're in stock. They're part of Stampin' Up's online exclusive collection, which I'm super excited about. The two inch and the one and three quarter. And then we're going to take one and three quarter and another scrap of designer series paper here. All right, I'm going to use the one and three quarter for this one, and like I said, I have the old whale tail style. It still works. And um, use that. So we've got a couple little areas here. And I thought this one we would use the cutest little mini carrots here. Those are so cute. It's this little carrot trio. And then the little carrot tops here as well. And use them here on our... I'm gonna wipe this off on my. There we go. I'm gonna paper towel. I don't want to put. I don't have jeans on today, so I don't want to wipe it on my pants like I usually do. <laughs> so I'm gonna pull in. We're gonna use some clips of coral and some granny apple green on this, and we could use the little hey there. How about that? I think we have room for that on here. Okay. So let's go ahead. Let's figure out where these are going to go. Okay. So I think I'm going to do my sentiment first. Let's do that with the granny apple green. That way I can make sure it fits on here. And don't get too carried away with my carrots. Okay. So that worked. Then we're going to use the Calypso Coral here for the carrots. I'm going to angle them just a little bit. Okay. 
And then I'm going to come back in here with the granny apple green to put our little carrot tops on. Isn't that just the cutest little thing? <laughs> so fun. All right, so a little adhesive on here. Mount that on the Calypso Coral. Put a couple of dimensionals on here. Okay, and let's just do this right over here on the side. And then I do think we need another little bunny. So I forgot to put the inside of my cards. Oh well. All right, so we'll grab some more crumb cake cardstock here. Going through my scrap bin to find some extra pieces. Okay, let's do that. We'll grab our little bunny. Every carrot card needs a little little bunny on here. And of course, bunnies can go, they're reversible here, so they can go either direction, but I think I'm going to do this. Isn't that, won't that be cute? Like the carrot's like, hey there. <laughs> or the bunny's like, hey there, carrots. <laughs> All right, so again, use a little crumb cake ink on your sponge dauber. Okay, we'll just brush a little bit of this on here. I mean, you can go a lot or a little. It's totally up to you how much ink you want to put here on your on your little bunny. Okay, a little Peter Rabbit there. All right, again, add our dimensionals, and then we'll do do our cotton tail because that's just the coolest thing ever to watch that that puff paint grow, <laughs> take shape. All right, so we'll add this right in here. I like that overlapping just a bit. Okay. Again, shake this again just to keep it all good and shook up and whatever the formula is in here, keep it all nice and mixed. Okay. So again, gently spread it on with the tip of your, of your nozzle. All right, make sure that you've got enough so that it's solid white and that you can't see through. All right, because if it's too spread out and you can see the bunny, the cardstock below, then then you need a little more. All right, but you don't want to overdo it because otherwise it'll just keep growing. <laughs> All right, so we're going to heat this up gently. Keep your fingers out of the way because it gets hot. All right, just watch it move a little bit. a little bit. Okay, there it goes. Do you see it? Are you watching? How cool is that? Okay, make sure it's all puffed up. Okay. And there you go. So if you see any liquid left, then you need to keep heating. But once it's done, fully <laughs> growing there is nice and fluffy. It's cool. You can touch it. All right. Um, I mean, I suppose if you needed to or it was too much, you could tear it off. But it's on there. It's on there pretty good. And it's kind of fun to, again, it's it's fluffy. It's a little squishy. But it's pretty cool. And I think that's just like the perfect thing. And of course, maybe we need a little butterfly or so on here because... That's just, that's just perfect for, for spring. All right, we'll just have a couple of butterflies on here too. There we go. I think that's, I think that's good. I mean, let's put one over here because this butterfly needs a friend. We'll just put this one right over here <laughs> by his nose. Aren't these cute? 
So if you have these items already in your stash, then I hope I've given you some fun ideas to use with them. And um, again, like I said, I will have um, tutorial available for additional 12 projects. Uh, that link is there. I will be sending that out this weekend. All right, getting that all prepared with all the photos and everything for everybody. Um, and then if you don't have these products and you would like them and you're here in the US, then I do have a limited number of class kits available. Uh, I'm gonna say they're available here through, today is what, March 28th. I'm gonna put it through till Friday, which is the 31st, um, but I don't know. It's possible they could sell out quicker. Um, so act quickly. I do have options for um, local, if you're local and within a reasonable delivery range or wanna pick up, then I do have a free shipping option. Um, of course, you guys know punches are heavy. So I will be mailing priority mail so that, um, that you'll get your items within just a few days. And um, yeah, trying to do the best I can to um, save on shipping with everything. But again, it'll be supplies for the 12, 12 cards. I have all the cardstock, the Dandy Designs Designer Series paper, uh, the puff paint and your dauber and your stamp set and your punch and the cute little cute little bunny bag to put it all in aren't these just the cutest look at these little bunnies <laughs> fun tons of basic gray and gray granite there it can be used for all kinds of things It'd be a great little library bag and things too um but if you have any questions please let me know please message me hi kathy how are you oh thank you so much for <laughs> for joining me here today and um yeah i hope you enjoy these fun little spring projects and and again um bunny punch limited time for my class but again um it will be returning in the online store on may 15th okay so again to make sure you are subscribed to my channel here <laughs> Hit that notification bell so that you can uh, receive the notices. Again, I'll be doing a bonus video tomorrow, letting everybody know all about the fun new color announcements and retiring products and things like that. And um, make sure you're subscribed to my mailing list too, so that you can receive all information about upcoming classes and events and announcements and things like that too. So. Thank you, thank you. I look forward to stamping with you again on Friday. Hi, Alberta. Thank you guys for joining me. All right, you take care, everyone, and I'll see you soon. <laughs> Alrighty, bye-bye.